In this clip, I'm going to tell you how to save your Melodyne session. There are a few things to remember when saving a Melodyne session. The reason it's different than a regular host application session is that it doesn't create a folder or a new file based on the session with folders that correspond to the specific files, say, as if in the test session you have your test session audio, your test session fade files, etc. In Melodyne, we go up to the file menu and come down, you'll see that you can save your arrangement, you can save audio, you can save the audio to MIDI, but usually when you're starting it's going to give you an untitled, that's its default, so you'll want to save arrangement as. I'm not going to change this because it's already a specific thing I've used, but it's been saved as staystrong.mar. And an MAR file is the Melodyne protocol for its file types. Now, if you want to just save the audio to make sure if you've imported anything new since the last Melodyne session you had, you could save audio and it will make sure that it takes all of those files that have been transferred into Melodyne and makes a duplicate and saves them in a new folder wherever you have your Melodyne folders saved. So, therefore, it will be a new duplicate, but it will also be saved as a new tuned file, whereas the files that you have saved in Logic or Pro Tools are just going to be the originals. So, therefore, it's definitely a good idea to save all audio and all presets within Melodyne as well as the host program.